Welcome to the Reston Art Gallery and to my exhibition, uh, Modern Illuminations. My name is Rosemary Forsyth, and today I wanna to talk a little bit about my Wise Women series. These are uh, paintings that honor famous uh, female scientists. I have five of those paintings in among my other paintings in the exhibition. And this is part of a long ongoing series I have to honor these women. Um, you'll see figures in each of the paintings, and the figures don't necessarily represent, you know, they don't look necessarily like the scientists, but they include, um, I embedded all sorts of references to their scientific work in these figures. Um, so this is um, the work of Emmy Noether, whose theorem is generally considered the backbone of all modern physics. And I have, you know, some of her prizes and some of her theorems and a most famous work. Um, this one is geneticist Nettie Stevens. Um, Nettie Stevens discovered that sex is determined by a particular configuration of hormones. I think no one believed her at first, but she persevered. Um, and this is, uh, represents Nobel Prize winner and theoretical physicist Maria Gebert Meyer who solved one of the great mysteries of the universe, how isotopes behave. And then if we move over here, this painting has a group of very early scientists. It's called Sages. And, um, you know, beginning, I guess if you, the, one of the earliest ones is Agla Nietzsche, Nietzsche um, from the first or second century BC, um, you have the world's first recorded chemist up here uh, from 1200 BC. And you see all sorts of um, references in their garments to who they are. You know, this is Hypatia, clearly a mathematician and uh, an astronomer. Um, Jean Dumais, um, she was a French astronomer who explained and supported the Copernican and Galilean theories of the Earth's movement. Um, this painting is called Firsts, and these are scientists who were the first to do, well, uh, many, many things. Um, Carolyn Herschel, she was the first woman in England to receive a salary for work as a scientist. She also was the first woman to receive a gold medal from the Royal Astronomical Society. Uh, Maria Mitchell was the first woman to, um, to American scientists to discover a comet. So not just the first female scientist, but the first science, American scientist to discover a comet. Um, so I have, I probably shouldn't go through all of the scientists. Um, and if you're interested, I can certainly give you all the detail about a particular painting. But I did want to point out, this is the figure that celebrates Mary Somerville, a science writer, astronomer, and mathematician. And she was honored with the 10 pound Scottish note. And I used part of it there as part of her garment. And of course, Ada Lovelace, who wrote the world's very first um, computer program. Her program calculated a number she called B7, uh, which in modern mathematics is known as the eighth Bermudian event. All right, so we'll move um, over here. Two more. Um, this one is called Stars. Uh, so it celebrates the work of two astronomers and an astrophysicist. Um, these are scientists who made paradigm shifting discoveries. So the figures incorporate symbols of intelligence, learning, knowledge, and leadership. So this is astrophysicist Cecilia Ping Gapurkin, who correctly proposed that the stars were composed of hydrogen and helium, which went against conventional wisdom at the time. Henrietta Leavitt, who discovered period luminosity, which allowed astronomers to measure the distance to far away galaxies and later proved the universe was expanding. Um, Hubble, if it weren't for Henrietta Leavitt, Hubble would not have been able to make the measurements he made. Uh, Vera Rubin, whose data, among other things, provided some of the very first evidence of dark matter. You can see I have dark matter written there. And I, um, 
I also include their medals and awards, and all kinds of things um, in their garments. And then finally, this is called Quartet. This features the work of four accomplished scientists who um, had incredible achievements. Uh, physicist Lisa Meitner, who discovered the element protactinium and nuclear fission. Microbiologist Esther Lederberg, um, you can see the lambda phage that she discovered. Uh, her discoveries laid the foundation for much of the genetics work done in the latter half of the 20th century. Chemist um, and physicist Ida Noda Ida Tack Nodak. Um, she was the first to mention the idea later named nuclear fission. Um, Rosalind Franklin's uh, uh, achievements are also incredible. Her work is central to the understanding of the molecular structures of DNA, RNA, viruses, coal, and graphite. And you can see the names of many of these things in here, you can see some of her awards and um, the usual symbols I include. So that's it for the wise women included in this particular exhibition. Thank you.